Hey guys, Chris collects things back again. And in today's video, we will be doing, this is actually the second episode of Chris Reviews. I will be reviewing the subscription box, the Grand Slam Card Club. So I actually received a message from the owner and I actually have a promo card for you guys if you decide you want to check this out. And for me and my viewers, the code is Chris Collects one all lowercase, and that should give you, I believe, 10% off your first order with them. This is a monthly subscription service. Um, predominantly, they do sports cards as of now, but Pokemon cards may be in the future. <laughs> pictured here is their website uh the subscription box that i got this this was for uh, the may one i believe i got the football boxes here as you'll see 31 dollars. they also have baseball basketball is coming soon in nascar if you're into that sort of thing unfortunately there is no pokemon cards for me to test so that's ideally what I'd wanted. So to switch it up, I was like, I kind of want football because I opened up some baseball recently. Check out my tops video. There's like about four views on it because it's a lot of people aren't as excited in that, I guess, as, po as the Pokemon craze, or at least that's how I think it is. But that was just a like, nice little fun way of me to get back into baseball cards after very so many years not collecting, basically. So I did have fun with that. So yeah, Grand Slam Card Club. I, I will I my box has arrived so later in this video I will open the box and see what packs are inside it the uh, football boxes sorry I was trying to click on it here the football boxes have se several different levels uh, I did the rookie which gives you I'll scroll up a little bit four to five packs per month I think I ended up with like five or six, to be honest with you, but we will see later on in the video. Um, obviously, we can do the plus box. Eight to ten packs, about $56, and premium box, about 81 bucks for 12 to 15 packs a month. I will notice that all, I will note that all of the cards in the box were like vintage so well, i guess you'd say vintage they, they were older legs like we had cards like adrian peterson on the vikings like matt ryan when he was drafted like early era which which is cool for me because like being big into football like obviously i have fond memories of that era i mean like when i had a little more time in college like i was just really into football and just like following different plays and stuff so it's like oh, i was familiar with a lot more of the players than i am nowadays with uh, less time on my hands but so be it. So yeah, as, as you can see, there is a 5% off your first order, Grand Slam 1. Uh, I believe I also I also emailed the owner, and he gave me a special code for you guys, and it's uh, ChrisCollects1, and I believe it's all lowercase, and I believe that gives you 10% off your first order. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure it's 10%. So yeah, if you guys are interested in either baseball, football, I guess basketball coming soon, or NASCAR cards, this is the subscription service for you. Again, they ship it out every month, and that price does include shipping. So taking a look quickly at the baseball, I did notice baseball was a little cheaper, and I thought about doing that, but I felt like opening football, so I went with that. Um, so yeah, $23 for the rookie level, which is four to five packs per month. I mean, you can also, there's also different like levels within like the rookie, which I did not mention before, so I apologize. Um, so yeah, you get different like eight to 10 packs or 12 to 15 packs. The price will go up, but rookie, you're getting uh, less premium packs, I guess. I don't, I'm not as familiar with sports cards nowadays. So but, like if you move up to like all-star and, um, Hall of Fame, you're, you're getting pretty pricey there at that premium level of Hall of Fame cards. So I'm assuming you're getting really good packs. Maybe they have more uh, uh, memorabilia in them, more jerseys, whatever, like the jersey cards or whatever. So yeah, this is, seems pretty on par, um, I guess, price-wise price with like the collectible card club. 
maybe these are a little bit more expensive and granted what i liked about the collectible card club is they had pokemon and gaming cards that's one thing i reached out to the owner here and i said hey are you uh thinking of adding more like pokemon magic the gathering like stuff like that in the future and i think that is the plan but not yet <laughs> So stay tuned for that. Um, you can obviously contact them here, send a message. And the different FAQs, um, can I sign up for just one month? Yes, but you have to cancel the subscription. You can do it. You can do it easily. I tested that out. So it's not like you were locked in like once you signed up. So that's nice. Um, yeah, they, they shipped the box out pretty quickly. There's no hidden fees. Like I said, shipping was included. Um, I know some people... Does your box include only hobby packs? This is something I'm less familiar with, but I know certain people who collect these cards, this probably means something more to them. So yeah, it says, yes, for baseball, they include, do everything in their power to only provide hobby packs, but they may occasionally purchase retail packs if they are providing big hits. So 99% are hobby packs. Uh, that's for baseball. For football, the majority of the packs will be hobby packs. We may add a few retail packs, but only from boxes that guarantee at least two hits. This is, allows us to offer more 2018 to 2020 packs. So with that, like I said, that doesn't really mean much to me with a hobby pack retail. Like, I don't really know the difference. Like I said, I'm, I'm more in the Pokemon world. So it's just like everything is like you're, you're just buying Pokemon cards. It is what it is. So in the next part of the video, I will open up the box, showcase like, the different logo, a nice red box with their, their logo on it there, the Grand Slam. And we'll just see what kind of packs were in it for our rookie level football box. I decided to switch it up and do some football because football is actually a huge passion of mine. Go Patriots <laughs> and go Buccaneers. <laughs> so let's see what we got in this box so this is the entry level and i will go over the uh, different pricings and tiers later on in the video but let's see what we got for this uh beginner level of football cards for the month of may so again i, I like their logo if i have to just talk about anything i really like the logo here it's a ferocious looking baseball player hitting fire out of the park so i really appreciate that um, again, they, it says the grant, my address is on the back. So I'm going to do this grand slam card club.com. So that's where you will check them out. Got some lovely packing peanuts here. And let's see, I think you get like some more things at four to six, uh, packs of cards and some are vintage obviously, which I kind of like. So we have a, uh, 2008 Bowman, home of the rookie card, with Matt Ryan on the cover. So that's cool. 2008, we have a 2013 with Adrian Peterson on the Vikings. Tops football. We have a Tops 2007 draft picks and prospects. Oh, there's Adrian Peterson in college. Five cards per pack. That's pretty cool. So we got three packs so far. They actually threw in a, uh, looks like an autographed card here and a card saver. It's a uh, Prashard Perriman of the Ravens. It's a Panini card, a rookie card. Cool. I don't really have much uh, potentially autographed stuff, so that's cool. I actually didn't know that was going to be included in it. Um, so we got, what, three packs down? We have a Bowman. This, okay, this is Bowman. 32 cards. This is a huge a huge lot and it's got michael crabtree as a rookie from 2009 on it and the last but not least fleer ultra 2006 wow eight cards per pack on the cover obviously you notice tom brady uh brett Favre's actually on the cover is that peyton yep uh who's that sean alexander of the and, and mike vick wow so yeah that's some uh some good packs there, at least like vintage -y. Like that's kind of what I was like looking for because I feel like a lot of the players now I don't really know as well. So definitely seeing some older players is pretty, pretty cool for me. And the, the addition of this little card here was a nice touch. Um, in the next half of the video, I'm going to show you the website and then I'll give my verdict on 
whether you should subscribe or not and give it a ranking like I did uh, in my previous video. So until later. Hey guys, so the verdict on the Grand Slam Card Club box that I opened. Do I feel like I got my values worth um, for the rookie level football pack? Yeah, I'd, I'd say it was it was fun to open. I definitely saw a lot of familiar faces, um, a lot of vin more, uh, I guess, more vintage packs, like more packs like dated like earlier on in uh, the 2000s. Sorry, late, maybe 2010s, I should say, not 2000s, because like we're in like the 2020 decade here. Um, yeah, how would I rate like my values worth what I got? Unfortunately, I don't really know much about like pack value wise there but I feel like I got more than I was expecting which was nice uh, I did enjoy the fact that I got like this if you can see if it will focus here this uh, signed card was really cool it's like I did not expect this so that was a nice little like treat that they threw in there it's like that definitely upped my uh, my enjoyment of it um if i if i had to give it out of 10 i'd say about 7 out of 10 for joe it's it was good i'm i don't know if i'm going to uh do another month with the football or if i'll give the baseball one a try so i just kind of wanted to see how it is uh if they have pokemon cards in the future i am definitely going to dabble in it like i said I, like i said earlier on the video i uh contacted the owner um he she was nice enough to give me like a, a code for you guys if you want to try it out um Again, no way affili affiliated with them. Just uh, figured why not if somebody wants to subscribe and they can get some money off it. Power to you guys, all right? Power to everyone. So, yes, yeah, so about 7 out of 10. Um, I'll definitely check it out in the future. Um, so, yeah, that's the Grand Slam Card Club. It's nice to get mystery boxes and it's nice to get little surprises in there and definitely a nice touch there. So... If you guys can like, subscribe for more content, uh, I'll do more reviews like this. I got a epic Pokemon card set tournament coming up, so check that out. That's going to be a lot of fun. And 40 subs, we're, once we get to 50, uh, we're going to open up the Mewtwo Strikes Back Tops card. So check that out. And guys, as always, I will catch you next time. Mm -hmm.